self-care means different things to different people. How you take care of yourself while at college may be quite different to how you have done so up to now. Most of us know all about the importance of recharging our phones and devices, but do we consider how to recharge ourselves? Marie Asberg is a Swedish psychiatrist who has investigated burnout. She described a spiralling funnel of busyness, leading towards exhaustion, when pleasurable and restorative activities are sacrificed for productive activities. During busy periods of our lives, we can often let healthy habits and routines slide. Sometimes, we can even put ourselves under pressure with self-care, especially if we feel that we have to follow popular health trends. It's really important to recognise that self-care is not one size fits all. It will mean different things for each one of us and at different times in our lives too. That's why it is extra important to tune our self-care needs as our circumstances change and develop self-care routines that address our evolving needs and circumstances. Why not take some time now to write out your own self-care prescription for now? Your prescription might include exercise, eating well, mindfulness, reading, watching funny movies, baking, gardening, savouring a good cup of coffee, FaceTiming a friend. You can amend your prescription as time goes by and as your daily schedule and commitments change.